Hi everyone, Mark Cabanis here for another Ubalate Music digital reading session and with me today, Lee Dangler. Welcome, Lee. Mark, it's good to be here. Great to have you here in Nashville, Thank Lee. You. And we are here to talk about On This Shining Night. And On This Shining Night, Lee, is your latest Christmas cantata for Ubalate Music. Always excited to have you on board. Of course, uh, we were just talking before we started rolling the cameras, Lee, how, how far we go back. We've known each other for a very long a time. A very long time. Older than all the cameramen on the premises right now. And so, uh, but Lee, through the years, I know you always do quality, a wonderful, heartfelt work. And you've co-written this uh, cantata with your wife, Susan. Yes. And this, this work is no exception this time. Talk about uh, on the Shining Night Leap, how did it come about? What caused you to write it other than the proverbial deadlines? <laughs> well, that had something to do with it, but, right. uh, well, we came up with this title, On the Shining Night, and immediately when we, when we came up with that title, we were intrigued by the possibilities that it presented. Uh, Christmas, the Christmas story is full of light images, and, um, and the, the most important being that Jesus is the light of the world. Mm. And so that thread runs through this whole cantata. And it's a, it's a, a cantata that is very meaningful, very spiritual in a lot of ways. Absolutely, very worshipful. Yeah. So talk about the opening sequence, Lee. Now, mm -hmm. what is included in this opening sequence? Well, it starts out with On the Shining Night. Which and is a new song. It's a new and song, Susan and it's, it's optionally sung by a soloist. And, uh, and then it moves into a setting of O Holy Night which is then followed by another uh, original piece called The Long Awaited. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yes. Well, okay, so let's take a listen now to the opening sequence for On This Shining Night.
Okay, Lee, next is the wondrous news. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that one. This is a song about uh, the angel appearing to Mary and then later to Joseph, giving them both the news of Jesus' birth. And um, it is a, a song in 6-8 time, and it has a sort of a Celtic feel about it, a really delightful piece. Absolutely. Okay, so here now is the wondrous news. Next up, Lee, is The Journey. Tell us about that one. Well, this is a setting of the Wexford Carol, and it is telling the story of Joseph and Mary uh, taking the journey to Bethlehem and uh, arriving at the inn. And it is a, the Wexford Carol is one of my favorite oh, carols, I and, I, yeah. and I think this is one of my favorite pieces in the cantata. It's a really a, a, a very warm moment in it's the cantata. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. So here is The Journey. Lee, up next is The Light Has Come. I love that title. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Tell us about that one. Well, this is a, a medley of three carols, the first one being Noel, and it's to the, uh, the, the text is O Little Town of Bethlehem, mm -hmm. and the second is Infant Holy, Infant Lowly. Love that too. Isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, wonderful too. Right, Coventry carol. And it ends with the simplicity and beauty of the rocking carol. Ah, which yeah. uh, really ends it on a very quiet and peaceful moment. Good. More familiar material set in a beautiful new way. Here's The Light Has Come.
Next up, Lee, is High in the Heavens, another great title. This is very energetic. Talk about this one. Well, this is the most energetic piece in the whole work. It's very rhythmic, uh, some mixed meters throughout. Um, it obviously is about the angels uh, appearing in the heavens. Mm. And, uh, That's always a wonderful moment in any is. Christmas cantata. Yeah, it really is. A lot of possibilities to really turn yeah. a composer loose with right. lots of energy. So let's hear it now. Here's High in the Heavens. Rise Up and Follow is up next, and Lee, for those who don't know the cantata yet, they probably figured out this is the shepherd moment, right? It is indeed. Absolutely. And this is a, a bringing together of two tunes, the spiritual Rise Up Shepherds and Follow, mm -hmm. with the French carol, O Leave Your Sheep. Yeah. And uh, they, they really work together in a way that it feels like they've always been together, and I, I, this is creating sort of a pastoral kind of feel throughout the piece. Absolutely, it's yeah. very nicely done. So here now is Rise Up and Follow. Oh, 
What would a Christmas cantata be, Lee, without a nice carol medley to close things out? And you and Susan have done that with carols of joy and adoration. Talk about this closing medley. Mm -hmm. This last sequence starts out with uh, O Sanctissima, mm -hmm. goes into the echo carol, and then goes into joy to the world, and uh, then leads into the congregation joining in to O Come O Ye Faithful, ah. which then goes into O Holy Night, which right. takes us somewhat back to the beginning of the cantata. Yes. And finally, we end with a soloist singing as she did opening up in the cantata on this shining night. Now that sounds like a lot, but actually it moves very quickly and very seamlessly and, and very easily so that it's just a nice, beautiful medley to kind of bring it all together with the theme of light and on this shining night. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so let's hear now carols of joy and adoration. And there you have it, On This Shining Night excerpts. Lee, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful cantata with us. It's, it's so nicely done. And what's the performance length total? Of About it? 37 minutes. 37 minutes, so mm -hmm. very uh, easily to drop that into the context of uh -huh. a larger worship service. And also an optional chamber orchestration is yes. available. Right. Instrumentation very attainable as well. Right. So Lee, thanks again for being here oh, with it's us. my delight. Absolutely, as always. And thank you for listening to this digital music reading session for On This Shining Night.